Hello, I'm Elizabeth Del Carmen in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, April 3rd, here's your news in 90. The Russian president expressed his condolences to the families of those injured or killed in the Russian city of St. Petersburg subway blast, shortly before news broke that a second device has been found. The head of Russia's anti-terrorist committee says nine dead, at least 20 others injured, and a second device found at a metro station in the city did not explode. The subway's administration says several stations in the city are closed and an evacuation is underway. Witnesses have been uploading videos to social media showing the emergency response both inside and outside the subway blast zone. An exact cause has not been released. A Colombian family is reunited following a deadly mudslide that left more than 200 dead and hundreds more missing in the town of Mocoa. Neighborhoods were left strewn with rocks, wooden planks, tree limbs and brown muck after heavy rain caused the three rivers that surround the town to rise up and surge through the city of 40,000 this weekend. The floods smashed houses, tore trees out by the roots and washed cars and trucks away. Colombian officials pledged aid to rebuild homes and the Attorney General launched an investigation into whether local and national authorities responded adequately to the disaster. A vigil Sunday night for missing teen Elizabeth Thomas hopes to bring awareness on how to identify children at risk of abduction. Authorities believe the 15-year-old was abducted by former teacher 50-year-old Tad Cummins. Friends, family and members of the community gathered in Columbia, Tennessee's public square. The dozens of ribbons and candles are meant to serve as a beacon of hope. Late last week, investigators confirmed the missing pair were spotted at a Walmart in Oklahoma just two days after Thomas went missing. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.